Whew, this is some good training. Uh, you know what? Let me go back to the office and we'll pick up there. Okay, so we're back in the office. I've been for a run, had a shower, and I'm here ready to teach you something about network marketing results. I'll explain these circles and everything that it's got to do with you in a second. So when I go out for a run, I've got two options. Okay, I can either go for a steady pace and do what I've always done for years, or I can do sprints, like 40 seconds flat out, 20 seconds jogging, 40 seconds flat out, it makes my lungs burn. Now, the reason that I want to do the sprints is because you may notice from my t-shirt, I, I love jiu-jitsu, I just got my brown belt. And I know that I want to compete again one day in that sport. I've got to really be able to push myself for a really like a sprint and a short recovery, sprint, short recovery. It's the best psychological release I get. It's the most beneficial to the sport that I play. But it's so tempting to go out there and say, well, you know what? It's cold outside. It's wet. I didn't have to come out for a run. That's enough. But that isn't really in alignment with the goals that I'm looking to shoot for, which is to get back on the podium in a national jiu-jitsu tournament. I'm going to have to be super fit in the sprint way uh, to do that. Now, this is what it comes down to when it comes to me getting those results in that sport, but also in terms of MLM as well for you. So if we say the run here, stroke Brazilian jiu-jitsu and MLM, we have this zone of comfort, right? I can go out for a run, steady pace, yeah, it's cold, but I'm used to that. I've lived in England my entire life, so it's not that big a deal. And I can pretend that this is a level of uncomfort that's going to get me to grow. I may even do one sprint, like dip, put my like my toe outside and go, man, that's hard, and come back to the comfort and say, hey, I, I, I grew, I grew. No, I didn't. And this is the same with network marketing. We hear these statements all the time, these great quotes. All growth lies in the uncomfort zone or outside your comfort zone. And we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what do we do? We go post a quote right? We go waste time on social media, waste time. We what? We procrastinate. We may speak, but only to the people that we know and we kind of, we're comfortable with their decision, right? So we do all these things and we dress it up and we say, hey, I did some action today. Pat on the back, I should get growth. We then get near the edge of the comfort zone. We think about doing a sprint, right? We think about getting into maybe making a video that we're embarrassed to make or being a bit more open or generating a blog or building a sales funnel or doing something that we, we kind of feel a pull that would be in alignment with our goals, but man, that isn't really comfortable. Can I do it? What happens if I fail all the rest of it? So we dipped straight back in again. Now, the growth is outside of these areas. The growth is outside of these areas. This is like the blue ocean, if you will. If you're familiar with that term, it's where there's little competition and all the room for, for potential. So we need to get comfortable being outside of here. We need to grow a new comfort zone, which is actually filled with uncomfort. What on earth do you mean, Richard? Well, what I mean is that when I start to do these sprints more and more and more, you know what happens? I start to feel a need to do them. I start to not feel like I've had a proper workout if I just go for a steady jog. I don't get the same psychological release. I don't feel like I've sweat enough, pushed myself enough. I want my lungs to burn. That's, that's just what I like, right? And I get growth for that because I want to do it more. I like the results that I'm getting. I see the impact. I'm like, oh man, I want to do that again because this equals this. And I'm actually starting to enjoy it in a weird way. I don't want to go back to being lazy, right? So, and it's the same in your network marketing business. If you can start to, to accomplish more in your uncomfortable zone, make a list. Make a list of all the things, right? That you're like, okay, these are things that are uncomfortable. Make an uncomfort list. This is how you can start to, to play this game in your favor. Maybe you know you need to set up a blog, but you haven't done it. Maybe you know you need to get on camera, but you haven't done it. Maybe you know you need to prospect what we call your chicken list. Like people who would be a good fit, but you're just embarrassed to talk to them. Maybe you do need to put more emotion into what you do and admit that it's important to you so people can feel your passion. There's gonna be a list of stuff that you know personally. And then start to do these things. This is gonna become your new comfort zone. But guess what? They're all uncomfortable to you. It's gonna stretch you as a marketer. It's gonna stretch you as a person. And guess what's gonna happen? You're going to grow. Because you're gonna do this and you go, well, what else can I do? It wasn't so bad. Well, I did a video. Okay, it was terrible, but I did it and I can improve. Okay, what's next? Maybe I'm going to do more videos, okay? And we start to tick these things off. And you know what happens? This starts to elevate. This starts to elevate you as a person. This starts to elevate your skill set. Right? This is in the comfort zone. And now this is you. This is you. The big payoff. You know what the big payoff is of doing these? 
the results you'll get, but the version of yourself that you have to become. The person you have to be to get this. I remember when I got my, I got my brown belt in jiu-jitsu the other week, and one of the guys said, oh man, you need to, I wear a black gi mainly, a black jiu-jitsu suit. He said, you're going to have to get a white gi now to show the belt off. I said, man, I said, you know what? I said, it's not the belt the man wears, it's the man that wears the belt. I've had to become a different person to be worthy of this level. In fitness, in consistency, in dealing with failure, all these lessons have made me a better version than I could ever be without this belt. The belt just symbolizes the journey that I've taken so far. And that's the way I want you to see how you perform and how you act as a network marketer. You say you're uncomfortable, but is it still within the bubble? Is it just like you going out for a steady run and saying, hey, I did it. If you give the minimum, you get the minimum. I want to see you get the maximum of the greatness that, that you have inside of you, your full potential. And if you want to do that, there's no way of dressing it up. To get new results, you've got to take new actions. You've got to become a different version of yourself. If right now people are telling you no, you need to become someone worthy of them saying yes to. If no one's seeing your offer, you need to improve your marketing so that people can see it, so you can become better at putting it in front of people. It, stop waiting for someone to give you something for free and easy and simple and cheap. And even if it was, you wouldn't want that because you wouldn't get the growth and be the person that you're destined to become. Come on, you know it makes sense. So I hope this has given you a kick up the backside in the best possible way. It's the best way I could explain how I've ever accomplished anything. Never been the most talented, never been found it easy, but you know what, never been outworked. Never had someone be more uncomfortable than me and I've learned to live and swim in that in that uncomfort and guess what happens your new uncomfort your, your what right now is uncomfortable becomes your comfort zone and then it's what next and it's what next and you progress all the way up uh, did this help you this provide you with okay I can make that list and I can start to hang out in that area and start to grow as a person a network marketer I hope you take it on board I hope you implement it and if you want more training from me uh, the best training I can ever give you is getting the best results for network marketers would be www.richardmathrew.com forward slash webinar it's a free training it's available right now you're able to go and uh, learn a whole bunch more stuff like this that's useful for NLM go create a day in a life that counts always have more desires and excuses I'll catch Catch you on the next one if you're a subscriber and bye for now.